All right, so to be able to click and drag items in the hotbar, let's start off by going to the hotbar script. And you can see here that we commented out the slot GUI input connection. So let's uncomment that out. And we copied this from the inventory script. So let's just go there, right here. So this function would be good to copy and all of this stuff too. So let me just copy this one first. So O, go back to hotbar. And then have to copy the helper functions as well. So this is probably not the cleanest way to do it because I'm obviously reusing code. Ideally, we standardize it. So we just call the same function for both cases. But this is just a rough and fast way to do it. So first off, holding item. We don't have holding item. So an inventory script, holding item is defined here. And now that I'm thinking about it, we want to have holding item shared between hotbar and inventory. So it doesn't make too much sense to have it defined in here. So let's define it one level up. So let me get rid of this. And let's go to user interface. That's the parent of both of inventory and hotbar. So it might make more sense to define it here. Great. So that's defined here. And now when I go to inventory, I should have a bunch of errors because I need to get it from the parent now. Parent is user interface dot. So I just have to copy and paste this to all the holding items. There's one here, one there. All right, so I've updated the inventory script and I also have to do a hop bar. Yeah. Great, done with the hop bar script as well. And while we're in this script, let's comment out all of the player inventory function calls because we did not implement functionality for the hotbar in there. So for now, let's just comment those out. I think that's all. Oh, last one right here. And let's go to the slot script. And as you can see here, we're calling inventory. And since we want this to work for both inventory and hotbar, let's try something different. Let's do one level up. So user interface instead, and we'll put it there. And let's try playing this. And if it all is well, it should be working. So let's click. Okay, we can drag it around, which is nice. And we can drag it into another slot. Let's click the 45. And we're able to merge the quantities as well. And now for the moment of truth, let's press E and see if we can move items between inventory and hotbar. And it looks like we can, but let me just rearrange the, the inventory and make sure that the order is kept when we reopen it. And it looks like it is. And yeah, it looks, looks like it's working. So we got the scrolling, we got the click and drag between hotbar and inventory. Now let's make sure to update the hotbar dictionary whenever we click and drag an item. So let's go to the hotbar script and notice how we commented out the player inventory function calls. Let's uncomment those now. So the first one is add item to empty slot. So we can reuse this function to make it work for both the hotbar and also the inventory. So let's just pass in a flag and we'll pass in true. And we'll use this true to indicate that it is from a hotbar. So if I go to player inventory.gd and let's find that function, add item to empty slot. So what we got to do is we'll just say is hotbar and this type is bool. And we'll also pass in a default value, which is false. So it works for the inventory script. And then here we just got to do if 
is hotbar. Copy and paste. And we'll replace inventory with hotbar in the first case. And yeah, that's it for this function. And while we're here, let's do it for the other functions. So I think remove item. So let me just copy this. So paste it. And then if is hotbar, I erase from the hotbar. Else from the inventory. And the last one. Hot bat. Huh. Else if is hot bar. And place inventory with hot bar. And I think I did everything okay here. So let's go back to the hotbar script. So we can uncomment this one as well. We should pass true, true, true. And I think that's all. Yeah. So yeah, it was fairly simple change to make. And now we make sure that the hotbar dictionary is also up to date. And this could be useful later on whenever we need to access items from the hotbar. Thanks for watching and take care.